No, oh, I scared him. Hi everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. What you're looking at is something you don't see every day. This is the steel core out of a 50 BMG round. This is what it looks like in the first manufacturing process, where it's turned from quarter inch steel wire, run through a die, and made into this shape. It is then sent to another company for the final shape, then it's sent to yet another company for heat treating, and then finally it's sent to another company to be mated with the full metal jacket. Now this weighs just under one ounce. Tony wanted me to shoot these out of a shotgun, so this is how we did it. We loaded it into the shot cup, which is filled with hot glue. And that will sort of act like a Sabo to keep the projectile running straight down the bore. I then made a mold of the 50 caliber bullet and cast a jacket all the way around the steel core. And today our shooter will be Darren. He's back. So let's see if these things will fly or not. Okay, this is 1200 frames per second and you can see how much the steel core is spinning through the air. There's no sign of that uh, hot glue wadding or the jacket or anything. It just stripped it all the way. Ready? Yep. <laughs> it shot down into the ground. Well, it turns out it was a near miss. What we saw hitting the ground was actually the wadding. Without any kind of stabilization, such as spin or drag, a long projectile like this will just tumble through the air. And when it tumbles through the air, it's not very accurate. We're ready. No, oh, I scared him. The third shot was no better. He's getting close. If we had a, a much bigger target, yeah, he'd probably hit it. But he's not that far away, maybe 15 yards away. And still, we're having trouble connecting with that ballistic gel gummy bear. All the steel cores that are missing are flying a couple hundred yards into the field behind us. They still are, have a lot of energy, though. So let's get a bigger target and see if we have any better luck this time. Well, it actually hit the thing, it's, but I think it went low. It keyholed. Hooray, he hit something. That big old tumbling piece of steel would still do a lot of damage to whatever you're hitting. It just went clean right through that fine stop sign. And you may be thinking, why didn't we use a rifle shotgun or run it through the rifle choke? Well, it just wouldn't engage with that rifling because it's so small. Even though it's in that little Sabo thing, it's, it's all being ripped apart anyway. All that hot glue, all that crap that I put around it, just is getting mangled up. And you know how things are on the internet. Everything looks really easy. It's like, hey, I would have been able to hit that gummy bear, no problem. And this is a practice shot before we even started shooting those things. And we're using a LBC Sabo slug. This is available through Ballistic Products. And I absolutely love this shotgun slug. That's the Sabo pedals, that's the wadding that flies along with it, and that of course is the slug. And Darren is shooting at a computer hard drive. That's a pretty small target. Now I do have a video of these slugs. There's the card right there up in the upper right corner. And they are, they're, they're amazing, they're accurate. They've got a hardened lead nose, so they just have amazing penetrating power. When we shot this, I actually thought he just clipped it. It thing went clean through the hard drive without hardly disturbing it. And look at that hole. That's pretty impressive. Thank you very much, Tony, for sending those steel cores for us to shoot. And thank you, everyone, for watching.